Hello and welcome to AdjustableLimit.com video. In this video I'll be showing you how to change the alloys on a car. Now the first thing you need is a picture of another car with some alloys you want to change. So I chose this car because it's in a similar position to the one there so the alloys will fit nicely onto the car. If you wanted to choose a car in an awkward position you could but it would be harder to put the alloys on. And the first thing we're going to do is zoom in. You can do that by holding control and using the wheel or use the magnifying glass here and then grab this tool here which is the circle. Okay. And you want to go around the edge of the alloy. This just saves cropping it yourself because it will be quicker and it will be probably neater. So you just go around the edge like that, really quick, well, as long as you like, and then go edit, which is a right click edit copy or control C. Next, you want to paste it onto this image, so edit, paste, and then bring up your layers dialog, so that's a control L, and you'll see the pasted layer here and you want to name that alloy front or whatever you want ok next thing you want to do and put it whereabouts it's going to go and you can see it's too big obviously so zoom in a bit remember it's control and using your wheel or the little magnifying glass and use this scale tool here right there and click on your image. Make sure, don't forget, make sure you're on your pasted, pasted layer so that you don't start changing the size of the actual car instead of the alloy. You want to change that. Move it about. This tool moves it about. And this tool is the scale tool. And we want to try and get it as close a match as possible. It might not fit perfectly because we need to change the perspective next. But that will do. Next you need the perspective tool, which is probably the most important tool when you're changing alloys. So it's this one just here, just above the rubber. I'm going to change the perspective. In this example it doesn't need changing much, but we'll do a little bit. You probably want to spend some time getting the perspective just right. It doesn't need much doing to that one. It's not perfect, but I'll just do it quickly. And then have a look, see how it looks. If it doesn't look right, go back in and edit it, make sure it's perfect. Or as near perfect as you can. Depending on the angle of the alloy, we might need to move the perspective more, but in this case we don't need that much. Right, once you've got all that perfect, you can start messing around with the colour and the hue and the saturation. So for this one, I'm going to use, turn up the hue a bit, no the saturation sorry, and turn the lightness down a little bit probably about there. And that doesn't look too bad, it's not perfect but it's okay. So obviously then you'd do the same for this bit and you'd obviously spend time making it perfect. But you might be wondering what do you do if you've got an image like this and you want to add an alloy and the body of the car is over the top of the alloy. Well I'll show you don't want to save that. So what we want to do is find ourselves some alloys. I've got this nice Momo alloys, which I particularly like. And we're going to go again, File, New, paste your alloys in there, and bring up your layers dialog. Remember that's Control L. 
and we're going to call it wheel so and then what you want to do is I tend to do this it doesn't work for all the alloys but just blacken out where you'd normally uh, normally be gaps it doesn't have to be perfect as you can see it's gone over the edge here and stuff but that doesn't matter because when the image gets made smaller you won't really see it depends how perfect you want to make it then we'll grab that circle tool again and we'll go around the edge of the alloy very quickly just the part of the alloy we need don't need this bit here but we do need the front part and just look at the image we're putting it on Okay, and then we're going to copy it as a control C or a right click edit copy again and then a control V to paste it or edit paste now layers dialog again control L there's your pasted layer which is the alloy and we'll name it alloy Oops. and then again get the scale tool and we're doing pretty much what we did before well we are doing the same thing so do it much quicker scale it down and zoom in control on your little wheel now I'm going to get this as close as possible match as I can so probably like that now I've got to imagine that I can see the whole wheel and the perspective is right so I'll probably move the perspective inwards a bit not going to do this perfect now but you get the idea now to get rid of this part you need to bring up the layers dialog again control L I'm going to turn the transparency down make sure you're on your alloy turn it all the way down and get this tool here the path tool okay and we want to crop all of this bit here where we're going to delete the part of the alloy image so round like this and then we can come as far over here as we want doesn't really matter and then go shift V to join it up or select from path same thing and then we're going to push the delete button on our keyboard so delete and then do a control C control V control L to bring up the layers and there you've just copy and pasted the layer and delete now when we turn up the transparency comes back and you can see that part is gone it's still not perfect but you get the idea of how you do it and you'd mess around with the colors maybe turn the contrast down a bit or the brightness or whatever you want okay and that's the bare bones of it so I hope this video has helped you and don't forget to visit justbloomit.com